What's going on all of my YouTube fam as well as my pre-healthcare professionals alike? I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to continue with the bodily organs and systems and start discussing the digestive system. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and better yet, hit that bell notification. It lets you know when I post new content here on YouTube. And give this video a big thumbs up. That way other people are looking for the ATIT's review videos know that this is a good video to help you pass it like a boss. The digestive system involves a series of processes that break down the food we eat into structures that can be delivered and then used by the cells. Food is first ingested through the mouth, which is chewed, and then swallowed. Food is then digested through mechanical digestion, the physical breakdown of food through chewing and mixing movements in the stomach. Chemical digestion breaks down even further through the use of enzymes so that nutrients can be absorbed. The absorption process transports and di the digested food through the intestines into the circulatory system. And then lastly, undigested food that's not really necessary is eliminated. The digestive system or gastrointestinal tract is about eight to nine meters long and begins with the mouth where food enters and ends at the anus where waste is eliminated. In between, the GI tract is made up of various organs through which food passes and is broken down. The sequence of the GI tract includes the mouth, throat, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. Most digestion takes place in the small intestine. The process of digestion is another complex series of events. The process of digestion begins in the mouth, where the salivary glands secrete saliva as food is chewed and broken down. Enzymes such as lipase and amylase in the saliva begin chemical digestions of lipids and starches. Swallowed food mixes with saliva, then moves through the esophagus and into the stomach. The gastric sphincter prevents the reflux of food back into the esophagus. The enzyme pepsin initiates chemical digestion in the stomach. Secretions in the stomach further help digest the food. Once the food is digested in the stomach, the product is called chyme acidic fluid that passes from the stomach to the small intestine. And it passes through the pyloric sphincter into the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. Absorption of nutrients occurs primarily in the small intestine where the gallbladder secretes bile made in the liver and the pancreas secretes additional enzymes essential for digestion. The digested material then passes into the cecum and then into the large intestine. The large intestine performs the role of absorbing water, vitamin K, and salt from the digested food matter and created solid waste through bacterial fermentation in the colon. Then waste will be passed through the body via the rectum and the anus. Hormones play a vital role in digestion as well. They cause the secretion necessary for digestion. They stimulate muscle contraction and relaxation to move digestive matter through the small intestine. They regulate the flow of water and electrolytes between the digestive system and the bloodstream, and they increase blood flow for the absorption of nutrients. Specific hormones perform other functions as well. For example, the hormones ghrelin stimulates appetite, leptin inhibits hunger, insulin causes the storage of glucose, and glucagon stimulates the breakdown of stored glycogen. Without hormones, the system cannot function. Lastly, other vital organs are necessary for digestion and absorption of food are the pancreas and the liver. The pancreas secretes pancreatic juice, which helps break down fats into useful nutrients in the body. The liver produces bile, which is important in the digestion of fats. The bile is stored in the gallbladder until it's needed. I hope that this video has helped for you to pass your ATITs 
like a boss the first time. If you haven't done so already, I want to invite you over to my website at www.nursechung.com. There, there's additional resources for you to help you pass this exam. We've got practice questions as well as PDFs of the PowerPoints that I show in these videos. If you haven't done so, make sure that you follow me on my social media. I am on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye!